The Lakers won't make a move this trade deadline. At least, that's what all the evidence we've seen so far seems to suggest. The trade deadline is coming this Thursday, and the Lakers will most likely be inactive, much to the disappointment of many fans. The main reason the Lakers won't make a trade is simple. They don't have any tradable assets. Obviously, they are a contender and are looking to improve their team. So they need to get back a player of value. To do so, they must give up something of value, which they don't really have. At least not something they'd be willing to trade. Obviously, LeBron and AD have a lot of value, but the Lakers definitely are not considering trading them. They have virtually no draft picks that they can trade. They don't really have any attractive young players that they could trade. THT is a talented young player that some teams might be interested in, but the Lakers believe in him and they value him too much that I doubt that they'll trade him. Obviously, if the right deal comes around, like say a Bradley Beal, for example, I think they'd pull the trigger. But so far, there haven't been any players on the trading block that would be worth trading THT for. Kyle Kuzma is someone they could include in a trade. He's shown improvement in his game this year and has become more of an all-around player. But he's not really a young player anymore, at least not young enough to be attractive to a rebuilding team. Also, his poison pill contract makes it harder to trade him and less attractive as an asset. The last player I think they could trade is Dennis Schroeder. He's obviously a talented player, but more importantly, he's on an expiring contract. But so far, there hasn't been a deal out there that would improve the Lakers roster by trading Dennis Schroeder. However, the Lakers might still trade Schroeder if they think they won't be able to pay him this offseason. They have been in talks with Schroeder about an extension, and so far they do not seem to be on the same page. If they feel like they aren't getting anywhere and would rather get something in return than have him walk away for nothing in free agency, they may decide to trade him. But that seems highly unlikely because the Lakers brought him in as a part of their long-term goals. And more importantly, they don't want to sabotage their chances of winning the championship this year. Dennis has been a key part of their success so far this season. Even if they don't reach an extension, I think the Lakers will be willing to roll the dice and keep him on the team, knowing that he will become a free agent. LeBron's injury, I believe, makes it even less likely for the Lakers to make a move. They have a pretty good cushion in the standings to weather the storm without LeBron and AD. The knee-jerk reaction would be to trade for a star to try to salvage as much of the season as possible. But I doubt that the Lakers will go into panic mode and try to trade for another star just to maintain their position in the standings. If they do, they're going to have to trade a significant part of their team to get that star and have a completely different team as a result. The last thing that they want is for LeBron and AD to spend all that time recovering only to return to a very different looking team and have to learn to play with these new players all while trying to get back into shape, most likely during playoff basketball. But just because they don't make a trade doesn't mean they won't make any moves. They will likely be very active in the buyout market. They recently let go of Damian Jones to free up a roster spot. This gives them two available roster spots that they will likely use to sign more proven players. They will most likely use one of those spots to sign a big man. They're obviously interested in big men because they signed Damian Jones in the first place. And Gasol hasn't really been meeting their expectations, so they need someone they can rely on. Drummond is probably the biggest name that has been thrown around in rumors. The Cavs would obviously prefer to trade him and get something in return, but the trade market for Drummond is essentially zero at this point and they may have no choice but to buy him out. Other big men like JaVale McGee, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Hassan Whiteside have also been linked to the Lakers as possible targets. The Lakers have also been reportedly interested in acquiring shooters, so they may be looking at guys like JJ Redick, who may get bought out. But with LeBron's injury, 
they may have to shift their priorities and what they are looking for in the buyout market. With LeBron out, that leaves only Dennis Schroeder as their primary ball handler and playmaker. THT has shown flashes, but he can't really be relied on to lead the offense quite yet. So they may have to sign someone who can be a playmaker. There have been rumors that they are interested in Isaiah Thomas, who is trying to make an NBA comeback. And they may look to sign other guards who are either bought out or currently free agents. The whole situation is still very fluid. With many teams close together in the standings, along with the play-in tournament this season, many teams feel like they have a chance to make the playoffs. Many teams will probably try to be competitive. So there may be more buyers than sellers this trade season. But maybe some teams have decided that it's time to tank and will put a lot of players on the trading block. We'll get a much clearer picture as we get closer to the trade deadline and the dominoes start to fall. To be honest, we don't really know for certain what the Lakers are going to do. Ever since Magic left, the Lakers have been good about keeping their moves a secret. Not too many of their moves have leaked. We don't really hear too much about a trade or a signing until it actually happens. Because real G's move in silence, like lasagna. So a lot of the rumors we've been hearing about the Lakers are probably not true and they probably won't happen. And the moves that they do make will probably be something no one saw coming. So we won't really know for sure until the situation unfolds. All we can do now is wait and see.